the bigger emotion that overwhelmed me was fear because I realized that suddenly I had eyeballs looking back at my work and it was this fear of criticism, the fear of looking stupid in front of people that made me go, do I even want to create this anymore? Do I want to abandon ship? Um, and, and then I went, hold on a second. I started out, how, why did I even start out uh, start creating these projects. And I remembered that I started these proje projects by connecting with a small community of people, my neighbors around the neighborhood, and with people back, my friends and family back in Australia and Malaysia. And I went, okay, maybe I should go back to that and use that mindset again. So if you have a project in mind, if you have a big project in mind, think about Think about resonating that, getting that project to resonate with five people or 12 people or 30 people. Maybe it might not overwhelm you as much and you would start doing something. Failure is always a part of the formula. It's always a part of the, the, the journey and the experience. And I've learned that I had to fail fast and learn from it and get back into it and not be discouraged by that. I guess this whole experiment made me realize that there is power in consistently showing up but also that perfectionism is probably the enemy of creativity, that done is better than perfect. When facing criticism, remember this, SW squared plus WC equals MO. <laughs> and if you break it down, if you remember your high school maths, it's SW times SW plus WC equals MO. And that works out to be, some will believe in you, some won't, who cares, move on. <laughs> and that's what really motivates me. It's when I see sparkly eyes in the audience, when I see people looking back and smiling, because that gives me, that, that gives me hope and that motivates me because that makes me realize that you guys believe in a sense of beauty and wonder and amazement and possibilities. And I truly believe that all of you can bring joy and meaning and purpose into this world in only ways that you can through your own backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives. And in all these pieces, looking back, while I had these big visions and big ideas, I can assure you that I had to start small. Because if I did not, I don't think I would have started at all. Big pieces and big ideas and big visions can be so complex and daunting to the point of preventing me to start at all, while small pieces small chunks are achievable and it makes projects flexible to changes and growth. Most of the time, 99% of the time, the hard part about creativity and innovation is not in coming up with a big original idea. The hard part is making things happen despite your fears and doubts about it. So next time if you have an amazing idea, if you walk out this hall having an amazing idea, big, grand, idea if you're filled with inspiration, I'd encourage you to walk out there and start making things happen, however small it might be.